This is FYI on your TV. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Pat Forbes with me and I've got Lauren Keeley, both from the St. John's Catholic High School in Perth. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Now, uh, Lauren, what, uh, what grade are you in? I'm in grade 12. You're in grade 12. And Pat, you are the chaplaincy leader at the school as well, too. We're here to talk about a trip that's been going on for quite some time. So uh, Lauren, it's going to be your first time going, but maybe Pat, can you talk a little bit about the history of it? Uh, sure, sure. This year, actually, it's a return after four years, a four year absence. Uh, we've been doing service exposure trips for about 30 years, I think, actually now. It would have been in the 90s that it started. The school opened here in 92. And I think they went on their first service trip to Cornavaca, Mexico in um, 1994 or five. <clears throat> so we're getting close to 30 years. But of course, with the pandemic, uh, the last four years, we haven't been able to do that and, and no schools in our board obviously we're traveling so this is the first year to return after uh four years of, of an absence since 2020. okay and it is a service trip as well too and you've gone to many locations what other locations have you gone to uh we've gone to cornerback in mexico we did that for quite a few i'd say about i think that was about 15 or 18 years so the majority of the time we went to that same community and that was a great trip there was a group that we worked with there uh, and it started with just our school in St. Mary's in Brockville, I believe, in the early days. But then um, it expanded to across the school board and, and most of our schools in our school board went on that trip. Then we did a brief stint of two years in the Dominican Republic. Uh, it was called the Dominican Experience. That was the name of that trip. And um, then we did some time in orphanages in Guatemala and the Dominican too. And that was maybe for three or four years until uh, out of that project in the in the um, uh, in the orphanage in Guatemala, this organization developed called One One by One in Guatemala, and that's that became a, a, a trip that we went on for I'd say about maybe seven years, six seven years, something like that, up until 2020, and it was to a rural community, uh, Anibal or Chilla in Guatemala. All right, now maybe Lauren, can you talk about the upcoming trip and what your plans are? Yeah, so we're going to Dominican Republic, the northeast, northeast coast, sorry, um, in February of 2024. And um, we're, we don't know the like logistics of the trip just yet. We don't know what um, community we're going to just yet, but I'm really looking forward to helping out impoverished communities because I've never been exposed to um, that kind of part of the world, but I'm really excited to help and give back to people. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And absolutely, this is a service trip too. You're gonna to be doing some physical work too. You've done yes. all sorts of different things on, on previous chips, trips, but uh, Lauren, this is your first one going out too. So you, you could be building buildings, you could be doing all sorts of things. Exactly, my sister went on a trip about four or five years ago and um, she built a road in Guatemala. Wow. Wow. Now, it, it takes some fundraising to, to get you to the, tr to, to the trip, to the airplane, to the country and everything like that. You, yes. You've been doing some fundraising. You've been really busy. So what have you been doing? Um, so we've been doing little like bake sales within the school. And we did a plant sale in um, early May, I think it was. And then next week we have our yard sale, our annual yard sale that we always do for this trip on the 28th at our school here. Um, and so we've been doing some drop-offs on the weekends. We got two trailers in Perth and Smith Falls to accept donations. Um, and we have one more this weekend too in Perth and Smith Falls. And then we have a gala at the end of November. It's a dinner and dance with a, um, with a few um, silent auction items. And we're going to do Christmas wreaths as well. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes. So you, you've, yeah. you've been busy and you're going to keep going until you go on your trip. When is the trip? Next February. Next February? The February that's coming up? Yes, yes. in 2024, yeah. Okay, all right. So let's talk about the yard sale. You, you've got some drop-off places uh, on the 21st in Smith Falls and Perth? Yes. Okay, whereabouts are they? Um, the Cornelia Court Plaza in Smith Falls and behind Giant Tiger in Perth. All right, now let's talk about your yard sale itself on the 28th too. You've been collecting items for a couple of weeks now. You're gonna have a huge, huge yard sale. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's gonna be happening in our school gym. 
um, and our doors will open at 7 a.m., and we'll run until basically whenever. Excellent, excellent. Now let's talk yes. about the trip itself too. How many people are going on it? Five students from our school. From your school? Five girls. Okay. Yeah. And what grades are they in? 11 and 12. Excellent, excellent. So you're yeah. looking forward to this? Yes, I'm really excited. Excellent, excellent. So let's uh, go back to Pat again. Let's, let's talk about the trip itself. How did you get involved in this, like you say, like 30 years ago? I, I've only been here for 20 years only, oh, okay. uh, but, but uh, so the trip began before my time here to the one going to Cornavaca. And I think in my first year here at St. John's actually, or first or second year, I went on that trip as a, as a chaperone, as a supervisor uh, with some other teachers. Uh, we used to take a large group. Our school was a fairly big school at that time. We took about 15 people. Wow. So about 12 students and about three staff used to go and uh, that was a great experience um, and I remember it vividly I was a new dad and um, I remember you know seeing the children there that we would uh, be working with and coming into contact with and just uh, it was it touched me in that special way because of uh, uh, being a, a new father but uh, so over the years I've seen though 20 years of students going on this trip and the impact that it has on them too so which can be quite profound and uh, one of the other teachers actually that's going to accompany our group this year uh, as a chaperone, she was a student here I, and in grade 12 about 12 years ago, I think it is, somewhere in around 12 or 13 years ago, and went on that trip called the Dominican Experience. And uh, she was on that service trip that year as a student, and she always, uh, and part of the reason why she wanted to volunteer to go with the group this year was because of the impact it had on her as a student. So we've had many students become teachers, go into international development, go into uh, healthcare, uh, working with children, all these kinds of things in their uh, life after high school, I think because of, in part at least, because of the experience they had on, on this kind of uh, trip, so. Absolutely, full circle, full circle. Lauren, what grade yeah. are you in again? I'm in grade 12. In grade 12, what are your plans for next year? Um, I wanna become a teacher. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking to stay close to home, probably somewhere in Ottawa, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, the young ones, uh, high school, what, what kind of teacher would you like to be? A young one. A little, oh, okay, excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent. So let's uh, let's uh, say the dates again for your drop off. You got the 21st, you got. Uh, 21st, yeah. It's uh, some more pickups for items for your yard sale. Your yard sale itself? Is on the 28th. It's on the 28th so, at your yeah. school and that's in Perth? Yes. Okay, and it's at the Just high off school. the Scotch line. Off the Scotch yeah. line. Okay. And you've got a gala coming up, and you're going to be selling wreaths as well. Yes. So for more information about some fundraising, we can just look at your, your Facebook page. Yeah, so um, the trip itself, we have a Facebook page. It's called SJCHS Trip. Um, and um, I guess you could just call the school if you have any information or any, any other further questions or Okay, there's yeah. other schools going too. You're just not, you're not the only school going as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you and know we any... would usually post anything on our, on our school website as well mm -hmm. too. And our, okay. uh, you know, uh, we have a Facebook page, all that kind of stuff as well. So, and there's announcements out around the community mm -hmm. uh, too. Uh, we usually do posters and things on the local radio station and that kind of thing. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. That's yeah. great. Well, it's been great talking to you. Uh, good luck with your trip. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, can, can I ask a favor? Yes. Sure. Can you come back on FYI and tell us about your trip when you get back? We will. Of course. Right, look forward to it and uh, send us some pictures too. We like pictures. <laughs> we will. Excellent. <laughs> we look forward to yeah. talking to you again later in February then. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us. We have Pat Forbes and Lauren Keeley all the way from Perth today at, from St. John's Catholic High School. Thanks for joining us and have a great time on your trip. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks for having us. Thank